Hi everyone, good afternoon. It's Susan again with the second tutorial for Live Beyond Craft Artist, the Affinity Designer. Right, uh, I had something in mind to show you, but it has to wait because you need to know where you're going to find everything first. Now, I am able to do this video this afternoon. I just finished a lesson which went really nice on scan and cut. And I went to have a look at some emails and I found quite a few of you. So thank you very much, those that have supported me through the donation um, to my channel. And for that reason, I decided, you know what, I can now give you lesson two to keep this going. Here goes. So thank you everyone for your support. I hope you learn and learn loads from me. Where to find what you need is the next step for you. So, so far in the first video, you've seen how to make it look very similar to craft artists. Now we need to see where are we going to find what we need and where to understand what we have. So, for this one, I'm going to use two different packages because they're slightly different. And some of you are on version one, some of you may be on version two. So what I'm going to do is open Affinity 2 as well. I'm starting off explaining Affinity 1 first. So let's give it a chance to open. And I'm going to show you exactly where to find what you need. So, we'll wait for it to open in a second because it doesn't want to know at the moment. But it will open, so don't worry. Now, in Affinity 1, let's see what we've got. They're both opening, so please bear with me a second. I'm going to open my file. So file, new. I'm going to go for landscape and create. So I've got my A4 landscape. Okay, so that's my file that I want to use. Now, I'm going to explain what you have and where you find them. And if you lose them, how to get them quickly back. So let's start here. On, the, on this side, I usually have none of these. So let me close them and I'll show you how I bring them back in. So this is how I usually start. Now, on the right hand side, on the left hand side, you've got all the different tools, which I will do a video on how to use the different tools that are in there. On the right hand side, we're interested in some of the tabs we've got. So up here, we've got color. And as you see, look, it, think about it. In Craft Artist, it was a square frame and a square. And between them, they give you the color for the line and the color for the fill. Works in the same way here. Whichever one is at the front will take the color you select. And it works exactly the same way as it does in Craft Artist. However, when we come to use it later on in the lessons, I've got another surprise for you with that. But for now, that's so you, you know. Then you have all the swatches. These are colors. They can be colors you created, like I did a CS lesson, or they could be colors that are already on the system. You've got what we used to call line now became stroke. So if I want to put a line, so let's put a square on, so I'll show you. The square took the color, I chose on the color tab. If I do stroke, I select the line. I can make it thick or thin, I can make it line, dashed line, I can do whatever I decide the same way as we did in craft artist. Okay, remember, this is a hybrid from craft artist. This is the same company that created it. Brushes, you've got brushes, 
uh, that come with the system. Some brushes I might have could be ones I either created or bought extra. We've got the styles, exactly like in craft artists. So if I had a style, I could say, right, that's the style I want, and there you go, the box to the style I chose. And they're very easy to add. So these are ones that I've created. Okay? So there are some that came with the system, and you can name them, you can do all sorts, but there will be a lesson on that as well. So that's not another uh, issue for the moment. We have the textile. Now, this I don't use much because this is like it works in Word, Excel, but I do it different. And we've got a stock. But don't worry about the stock one for now. History tells you what's being done to the program. You've got navigate, which makes it grow bigger or smaller. You zoom in and out. And transform is the same like you do in Craft Artist. So transform will give you the size, the width, the height. That's the sort of thing you'd get on there. What if I wanted layers, which we have on the left-hand side within Craft Artist? So you'd go to, this is version one. You go to view, you go to studio, and you go and select layers. Now mine came there because that's where it was the last time I closed it. But you can easily place it exactly where the others are in Craft Artist. Nothing different there. Okay. We have things like, you know, we've got DigiKits and Craft Artist. In here we've got assets. So if I go on view and again I go to studio, I can click assets. They come up here, I'm going to drag them on this side, and I can put them to link in there. And then I can make them wider if I wanted to, or narrower if I wanted to. And you've got your DigiKids there. Okay, now, what else do I usually use for now? That would be uh, sufficient. Now, I'm going to go into my other program, which is version two. Now when this opens, it doesn't give you the welcome screen. It gives you the size of the page you want straight away. So the first thing I do, if I'm going to go for an A4 landscape, I tend to click on margin and say, I don't want the margin. Don't include. And I say create, and that creates my A4 landscape. So now we're in the same place as per the other version. The only difference is if I take these and I close them off, and then I need to open one of the layers. Instead of going to View Studio, in version 2, you need to go to Window, and you need to go to whatever it is you're opening, so Layers. And then you place it wherever you need it. I like it there. You might want to open Assets comes there, I'm going to bring it back into this side, and I'm going to place it just about, oh, there, somewhere there. I can't get it lodged back in. It usually lodges easily on here. Let's see whether we've got an option to lodge it. Embed in current document. Let's see. There, whoops. Let's see whether that does it. No. No, that's not the one. So, show as a list. Collapse, close, close group. Oh, I normally just drag it there. Whoa, there it goes. So drag it a little bit to the left, and it will lodge itself in the right place. You just need to know where you're going to click with it. Okay, and you get your digits, whatever uh, assets you create will come up on the <coughs> left-hand side. Now. 
anything else you need to know from here, you've got things like send to back, send backward, bring forward, bring to front. They're here at the top. They're always there. You've got these things like flip horizontal, flip vertical, turn rotate. So they're there. You want to align something. You can align by clicking on there when you've got an object or two. If I had an object there, I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Straight away, I get the alignment. So if I wanted to align it to the center of the page, it will go to the center of the page, right? <coughs> the other thing is there is this group. I like them all ticked. And what do they do? I'll show you if I click and drag. Can you see I get a green line when it's centered horizontally and the red one when I center it vertically? I know I said it I said it the right way because horizontally is it's on the horizontal side of the page, vertically is up and down. So that's how they work. You've got things where you can, if you've got more than one item, you add them together but i will teach you all that so don't worry too much about it in the next lesson lesson three which i will try to do tomorrow if i can get the time is to explain some of the tools we have now i won't do all the tools at once but i will do some of the tools now i'm gonna because i do love teaching you some people said they can't get on well with craft, with Affinity because Craft Artist has pages and Affinity doesn't. So I will also do another video to show you how you can get page one, page two on the same document. I found a way of doing it, believe it or not, ladies. And not only that, you can, I'll show you, I'll teach you how to make a card like I did with one of my sessions very recently, where you will then be able to have your design set on one page with the background, and then the other page you'll have the inside, and you can either print it on two and put them together, or you can even print it on the same page, especially if you've got a duplex printer. So that is how it works. It's not difficult. It's just you have to think. It's a newer package. It does a lot more than craft artists used to do, but we're trying to make it work in the same way as we did with craft artists. And it's easy, look, just pick up my design. I'll just place it on there. There you go. I've done my design like I would with craft artists. So for now, I just want you to, I wanted you to know where you find your items. So, Version 1, you need to go to View, Studio, and there are all the things you might require all in there. You can also do, when you're on there, you can also say, Show Left Studio, Show Right Studio. So if you don't want to see it, you can switch it off. And when you're ready to use it, you go to View, Studio, and you say show again. That's for the left as well. Depending on how much room you want on your screen, you can do that with the left or the right studio. And again, it's the same with Affinity 2. However, instead of in view, you're going to find it in Windows. You've got Windows and you have all the different things you can add to it. And in Studio, you'll find show the left show the right, or hide uh, studio, reset studio. They're all there like they are in version one. So version one, it's through view. Version two, it's through window. Thank you for watching. Please, please do support my channel. Click like. Also, please do go and subscribe if you haven't done so yet, so you'll get messages to tell you when my next video has been uploaded. I hope you'll have a lovely evening and I'll see you very shortly uh, with more tutorials. Bye for now.